<laughs> Sarah, what's up, baby? Said because he's you're giving Mr. Me money. Olympia. He's giving no, me money. No, 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 no. I give him money because he better you would say that. But there's, there's oh, did you win? win? Well, shouldn't I say that? Shouldn't I say that? Gonna do the San Diego promoter, number one promoter, USA baby, July yeah, 27th yeah. and 28th. Well, this in this Las isn't Vegas. gonna be out by then. Oh, this ain't gonna be so out by 2008. then. Forget about it. Okay, the 2008 USA is July 26th and 27th in Las Vegas. So be there. Be there. Be a port job. Free free plane tickets from John. Yeah. For everyone. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Kidding. What's the video of this? Hey, how's it going? How are you doing? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, Instant color. So we got we got Barb here doing my tan again. Once again, she made the point of actually emailing me and let me know I'm gonna be there for you. She's always here for my California shows, which is huge. So we got uh, we got Derek in the video. Derek's gonna do a little. Uh, he's gonna try to show me up on stage, like he does every time I come to California. He thinks because he squats more than me, he can out, outdo me on the stage now. <laughs> Whatever he wants to do, I'll go out, doesn't matter. Or I'll go bring the idea up back. Some Miller stands in One of my sponsors. I hope you wait up on stage. Uh, number 100, Kyoshi at first. Let's go by the way, please. Thank you. So while he's going to finish painting, he'll be ready. Everton. That's not why. Must have blocked the whole That's not why. That's why. It is? It's a point of eventually. I went to. Yeah. Yeah, 20, 30,000. There's not that in Perth or somewhere, eh? Oh my gosh. They're all over the place. Fresh. 
You're ignoring me. Yeah, yeah, I use the um, Jantana on stage. I have the sprayer gun at home, so of course the show's in Vegas, so I can shoot, shoot myself with the spray gun a few days leading up to the contest. So. No, I mean, I have my hex booth at my house, you know, my hex tanning booth. I do, I do that stand up and then uh, get a base and then I put the dye on, you know, before the show. guest pose with every color at every you know for years you yeah. know uh, this Giantana is like the best the best thing for a quick tan you know for a show yeah. I mean you could use it but um, you have to have better base you know as you saw I was white when I came in here you know yeah but if I actually had a little base tan actually put on a few coats washed it off had a base tan, you could actually come back here, put this on, and go on stage, you know. Make sure you get my eyes and my hairline open to my hair. Yeah. How's it look, Mitch? <laughs> but I'll use the spray gun. My eyes white and here. You gotta get my eyes, right? Jay Cutler, I need you on the stage. several times. He made a promise to me. He made a promise to the fans. I will return to this stage as Mr. Olympia. In 2006, Jay Cutler dethroned Ronnie Coleman as a newly crowned Mr. Olympia. He's just begun his Olympia prep. He's at 296 pounds. Three months out. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big Pasadena City College welcome for the incredible, the ultimate beef, Jay Cutler.
for a second. Is this guy incredible or what? Jay, I'm, I'm not kidding. I have never seen you look this good, this far out from Mr. Olympia. I guess all that talk about you being a one-hit wonder is a bunch of bull. Well, you're the one saying it, Lonnie. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm picking you. Oh, it's about time. Especially after the way you look now. Jay, seriously, no guy in this sport deserves the success that you've had more than you. Blue collar kid from Massachusetts, came up, lost the Olympia four times, never said anything bad, went back to the gym, just came back better and better, told me, Lonnie, someday I'm gonna win Mr. Olympia. I'm going to see Ronnie Coleman. You did it, Jay. I, I imagine that had to be the most spectacular uh, moment in your life. Well, you know, you start training at, at 18 uh, with the goal to be the best in the world. And, you know, like a lot of these competitors, uh, you guys as family and friends, you guys realize the hard work and dedication that goes in. I had that same support. Uh, I had the same friends that, of course, are saying, I know you can do it, but in the back of the head saying, oh, I'm not really sure. You know, being Mr. Olympia, being the 11th Mr. Olympia is a true honor. It was. Uh, Probably the greatest moment of my life. I wasn't really sure if I was actually going to win because every year I said I would be uh, Mr. Olympia and I was falling short, you know, second four times. Very, very difficult to the same guy, of course, Ronnie Coleman, who was here a couple of years ago. And I said that, that year actually I was going to win. I knew eventually uh, I could actually um, take this guy. I knew in my heart I could do it. And it finally happened in 2006. And we all know what's going to happen in 2007. Yeah, so. man. What is going to happen in 2007? I'm going to take home number two, of course. Jay, now I know Ronnie Coleman, a lot of people think that's your biggest nemesis, and Victor Martinez, a lot of great bodybuilders, Dexter Jackson, and uh, so forth. There's some guy been popping off back here. He says he could beat you in a pose now. You know this guy, Farnsworth? Oh, not this again, man. Uh, presentation right now for Mr. Jay Cutler. I'd like to bring out Sugar Sean Ray, and Sean will make this award to Jay. Yeah. I was there when uh, Jay rocked the house last year. Something that I didn't have a chance to witness while I was on stage in my 13 uh, years at Mr. Olympia. And uh, I got this back in 1993. And I've been hanging on to it. I thought I was going to put it on my new driveway. But Jay just moved, got a new house. I want to pass this on to Jay to put up on his front driveway when he pulls out. Because he earned it. One of the only guys to upset Mr. Olympia. The last time that was done was in 1984, the year I was graduating high school. And I thought I'd never live to see the day that it happened. I'm glad it couldn't happen to a better guy than Jay. So congratulations, Jay. Thanks, Sean. That was uh, huge coming from you. You know, I think. Uh, you know, Sean is emceeing the event when I won, and you know, I said to him, I said, you know, this one's for you and for Kevin and all the guys that were trying to beat Ronnie Coleman, and of course you were there with Lee Haney and everyone else. Um, we know your track record by now, so I do appreciate this. 
I don't know where I'm going to hang it. I'm sure, sure I'm not going to get arrested for having this. <laughs> My dad used to be head of the highway department back in Massachusetts. He told me if you steal a sign like this, it's like big, big legal fine. <laughs> Where's it from? It's, is it from California? It's, okay. <laughs> Hopefully it's not from Vegas. <laughs> is it from Vegas? Okay. Safe. Uh, no, Sean no, Sean, Sean no one, none of this. Um, first, you guys, I just want to say thank you all. Um, I know this year, this show was bigger than the years past. Um, we had a little trouble getting here. The traffic was really bad, Lonnie, this is why I was a little late. But, Listen, Jake, for the amount of money that I pay you to come here, don't give me any excuses. <laughs> A lot of zeros. Yeah, too bad the first number starts with a zero line. <laughs> it's always back and forth with Lonnie and myself, but listen, you guys, um, just thank you very much for the support. I know this year was a huge, huge year for me. I'm hoping that 2007 is the same. All you guys have supported me over the years, and you know, I've been coming back for this contest and supporting it. Like I said. I think this is the largest turnout so far, definitely most competitors. I see a lot of the faces I see every year, and, and we do appreciate your support. And I want to thank Lonnie again for uh, you know standing by me another year. I know I was busting his chops in the beginning, but I think he was one of the true people that you know believed once I broke through. I know in the beginning he was kind of questionable, but he knew eventually, you know, my hard work and dedication and all the effort I put in would eventually pay off, and it did. And um, I can just say, you know, to you guys. You know, the position I'm in now, I had definitely the best year of my life being Mr. Olympia. I never thought it could get better after being, you know, second place guy for so many years. That you really, really, truly believe that you can accomplish a dream, it definitely can come true and I'm living proof of that. No one ever thought I'd be as successful as I was. And I truly believe that it could happen and I, I just, uh, I really believed in myself. I persevered, I had a lot of setbacks. I was, you know, second to last at my first Mr. Olympia. So now to be the champion of the world, it's a huge, huge honor, and I'm going to do my best to continue to be the rep best representative of the sport of bodybuilding and, uh, and do my best to make all you guys proud, so thank you very much.